Hey everybody, this is Brenda with BB's RNY Journey. I am, let's see, 12 days post-op and I'm doing pretty good. I'm down 14 pounds since surgery day, which was July 28th, 2021. I'm back to work. Um, my pain is minimal now. The first week was really rough. I had a lot of pain um, right I don't know, right at your breastbone, you know, the very top of your tummy. They said that that was because they stitched the muscles back together there, and there's a major stitch there to uh, help you heal. So I've been doing really good. Um, let's see. Food-wise, I'm still eating two ounces, um, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, noon, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and that's it. So those 12 hours are my times that I can eat. I'm drinking. I keep water by my at all times. I don't know why I put something in this. Honestly, I prefer the taste of regular water to anything added, but I decided yes. I wanted pink lemonade and now I don't, but I'm going to finish it. Uh, yeah, I am using a straw because it's not bothering me to use a straw. So I decided to give a shot and worked out okay um so once I finished that I had a 30 ounce bottle of water earlier this is another 16 this will put me at 48 I plan on having this done by six o'clock and then I'll start on another water bottle um food I did not do well today for food I didn't plan um breakfast I grabbed a protein shake on my way out the door. I was going fishing and doing some things with some girlfriends my last, you know, morning off because I was coming back to work this afternoon. And so I grabbed the protein shake and drank about a third of it. I didn't measure it because I grabbed it and ran, but you can kind of tell, you know, the four ounces, about a third of a shake. Drank that and then didn't have anything for 10 o'clock. Um, for lunch, I had two ounces of yogurt, Greek yogurt. It was okay, um, but then we were leaving where we were going and we were doing some um, antique shopping and stuff. So it was in the car. Two o'clock rolls around. I'm like, eh, this is a little warm. I don't think I should eat the warm yogurt that's been sitting in the car for two hours when it's 90 degrees outside. So I threw that away and went home before I came to work, let the dogs out, and then I grabbed another protein shake and had a little bit of that. So I've only had protein three times today and I should be at, let's see, it's 5.25. I should have had two meals and three protein shakes by now. So, I mean, not full, but, you know, my four ounce allotted amounts and two meals, which the yogurt counts as one meal. So I'm behind the eight ball 100% tonight. So I might eat, I got to pick my husband up from bowling tonight. So I might eat something at 10 just to give me that extra protein. Not so much because I'm hungry. Um, hunger really hasn't set in. I do miss food though. Don't get me wrong. I miss food. I've been cooking for my husband and it's not his fault that I can't have everything, excuse me, that he can. So last night, you know, I made him eggs and bacon and um, I didn't feel like making hash browns so I took some french fries out of the freezer and fried them up and then added a little cheese to the top and that was, you know, and toast. Um, and when he came in, he was thrilled, you know, he's like, oh my God. But I said, well, figure I'm only killing one of us now. He ate it, took leftovers for lunch. I did taste, I took one small bite of his food, um, chewed it very, very well. And I did this the other night too. We went to our favorite restaurant here in town. It's a little dive bar that we love. Um, called Jack and Diane's. So we just love it. It's very affordable. It's, it's, you know, it's just where we like to go. And he got a gyro plate and they had nothing 
on the menu that I could have. Not their fault, you know, this is, this is on me. And they're cool. I mean, I could have brought my cottage cheese. I could have brought a protein shake. They'd have had no problem with me because I've worked with them for years, for a while now. But um, I just had water. Can't eat when we drink anyway, so I had water. Um, but his french fries came out. I'm 10 days, nine days past, you know, post-op at that point. And um, the french fries came out and they just looked soft and pillowy and, you know, like mashed potato consistency on the inside. So I did have one and a quarter french fry. I mean, a little steak fry type of thing. And I chewed, chewed, chewed. You know, I basically turned it into soup in my mouth. But I got the favor and I was okay with that. You know, it's it's not, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna be perfect. And if you come at me in the comments because I'm not perfect, all I'm, all I'm gonna tell you is, hmm. and I'm gonna move on. So you do you. But um, I'm doing well, you know, I'm not, I had a couple instances of foamies when I first got out of the hospital. Oh my God, they suck. If you haven't had foamies yet, um, my best way of explaining what foamies are is, you know that feeling right before you're gonna throw up where your mouth is filled with water? You're, you're producing a lot of saliva. That's foamies. But it's not you producing saliva, it's the water coming back up. Because I get foamies if I drink water too fast. Um, or I did, I don't now. Now I'm, I'm drinking pretty well. But at first, it would just keep coming back up. So I just hold a look up there, let it come out. Um, I do see a difference, I see a big difference. My husband even said that he already can see a difference and this isn't looking as bad as I thought it was going to. It was really putting on some wrinkles, um, which I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have loose skin. I'm going to have wrinkles, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Um, but it's not looking as bad as I was afraid to. My hair is not falling out yet. I know it's going to, but it's not there yet. It's just a holy mess and I hate this cut. There's nothing I can do with it. I don't have a clue. I am not that girl. Never have been that girl in my life. Um, I'm a ponytail hat, be done with it kind of person. So I did measure the day before surgery, the night before, and I have lost I guess I could have counted them up, but I've lost three inches from my shoulders because I measured right around my shoulders. I've measured two inches in my neck. I know, right? I'm kind of wishing I would have measured right here because I have a feeling that this is going to shrink as well because I do have a lot of weight to lose. Um, four inches from my waist, four inches from my hips, two inches from my abdomen, um, half an inch from my arms. My legs are, you know, maybe a half inch, if that. My legs have always been very muscular and a bit big, so I don't expect them to shrink much. Um, but I'm sure they will some, so I'm, I do measure. My wrist, I lost about a quarter of an inch. The, my favorite bracelet, which I stopped wearing because it didn't fit anymore, now fits correctly. So there's that. Um, other changes, in two days I get to go to pureed foods. That'll be nice. I'm looking forward to like chili. I don't know why, it's 90 degrees outside. Oh, and I did get in the pool. Um, doctor said once the scabs were gone I'd be able to get in the pool so I'm good my incisions look good I did just to be safe put on triple antibiotic ointment when I got out of the pool because I just wanted to be safe no need for any risk in my opinion but it was nice just jumping in there last night with the hubby um, you know we only have a couple months left and pools get shut down so might as well use it while I can. I'm supposed to get a tattoo on Friday. I have not decided if I'm going to or not. Again, hate to lose my pool time. I'm already back in. Oh, my computer shut off, which lost some of the some of the light that we had. It is god awful hot in my office. I'm sweating. 
right now, but um, that's because it's been closed down for the last two weeks. Um, I took off for surgery. I'm the only person who works in this in this old depot, and um, so I turned the air off while I was gone. No reason to run it. No reason to waste the money. Um, but now I'm back, and whew, it's hard to cool this big building off again. But by tomorrow, it'll be normal. And yes, yes, you will have like changes to your body temperature I guess I hate these glasses by the way my dog he hit she hit my my we had butted and she broke my glasses so I hate these they touch my cheek and I hate that because it keeps them all steamy but this is what I have until the new ones come in um what was I saying oh body temperature I have always been like a thousand degrees at all times I've always ran hot like everybody else is happy it's 70 degrees and I'm sweating miserable so my husband and I you know I always want to keep the air conditioning on lower he wants it on higher well I'm always cold down or at least when I get tired by the end of the evening I am wrapped up with a blanket on the couch and when it's time to go to bed I'm grabbing another blanket to put on top of our quilt so I'm cold all the time. And now I'm using the two blankets and my husband's using the one, which is so strange. And I'm like chasing him around the bed because usually I'm like, get your hands off of me, stay away. Don't touch me, I'm sleeping, it's too hot. Now I'm like, where are you? Come closer. Why are you way over there? Why is there a blanket between us? Yeah, he's ready to kill me, I'm sure. But um, everything's going really good. I don't have any complaints, man. The pain the first week sucked. I don't know why I did not either, and this could go either way, either I didn't remember that it flippin' hurt to have the hysterectomy or this hurt worse because this sucked. The hysterectomy I don't I, I know it's it sucked for a couple days but I think I was back to work after four days and this I just didn't want to do it um, but I worked some from home so you know I was able to pull off what I planned on pulling off um, but really that's my only update I see the nutritionist on Thursday and she will officially put me into the pureed food. I have, I have no doubts. Um, I don't know though if I stay at the two ounces at a time or if I go up to the four ounces. I do know two ounces fills me. Like I said, I've not had all my stuff today that I should have. So I'm gonna either have a nice cup of um, vanilla chai tea with some vanilla protein powder, vanilla protein in it um, that really does taste good if you are a chai tea drinker if you order the stash vanilla chai and make yourself a cup of hot tea with that I use two tea bags because I like the tea flavor to come out strong and then I pour in some of the protein drink like premier protein is what I have at home that's vanilla um, but it does, it tastes, to me, I call it Christmas in a cup. And I like hot tea anyway, I, much more than I like cold tea. I have not gone back to caffeine, not had a cup of coffee. I've had decaf, um, but I don't care for it as much. So it's not really, it's not really my morning routine right now. It's more, get a water. I wake up with the worst dry mouth. Um, it's really horrible. It's hard to swallow. I keep because the first couple of weeks it was hard to sit up in bed and I have a tall bed. Um, I was laying there, I was like, I, I need a drink in the middle of the night. I need to be able to wet my mouth at least. So I've got this little squirt bottle, you know, like you put oil or whatever in for your barbecue and I filled it with water. So when I need a drink, I don't have to get up. I don't have to stretch my, those muscles sitting back, trying to sit up or roll out of the bed and waking my husband up. I'm able to just wet my mouth enough that I'm not miserable. 
and I don't know what that is. It could be the ketosis. Um, I did, you know, pee on the keto sticks, and I am definitely in ketosis. Of course, I'm not eating anything, and I'm not drinking anything, and there's no sugars going into my body. It's all sugar-free. It's all a lot of jello and popsicles and, you know, however I can get the water, whatever I got to do every day. Um, but it's getting easier. It's getting to be a re regular habit. Um, oh, that's about all I've got right now. I'm down a little bit. I can see some changes happening. I need to stay off the scale. I'm becoming a little bit obsessed with getting on that scale every morning to see if I lost another pound overnight because that's what's been happening. And that's creating this monster that just wants to step on the scale and see success every time. Well, it's not going to be like that every day of my life, so I need to knock that off while it is successful. My ring, this is my wedding ring. It's on the wrong finger because the right finger, sorry, was getting a little too loose for comfort. You see that? There we go. So I have switched it over to the other hand because it's tighter on that hand and then I just put this this ring I made. We have a gemstones and geodes place here in town and they teach you how to make jewelry. And this one I just I love it. A simple little ring. But um that's my update. So if you're thinking about having it, you know, the pain, it goes away. Um, I had minor complications, but nothing that would stop me from having it again. I know right after surgery, I was asked by a few people, do you regret it? And I can tell you, even then, I was like, no, this is what I needed. This is, this is what I needed. So we're just gonna keep moving forward. I don't expect to be perfect. I don't, I mean, I'm going to do the best I can, but does that mean that, you know, in six months, I'm not going to not have a piece of cake? No, I'm probably going to have a, a small, small bite because one thing I have realized with these two ounce portions is it doesn't take much to satisfy you. You know, I made a homemade baked potato soup. It was good so good but those couple bites it was like heaven just having something that wasn't sweet I think was the big trick there so I am getting ready to head out of the office and go home and I will update you guys when there's something new to update you um, I'll let you know how pureed food goes I'm sure that's gonna last I think two weeks and then after that, I go to a soft, regular diet. So, you know, I'm already kind of munching on a little bit of cheeses and things like that that aren't bad. But I am looking forward to chicken salad and tuna salad and eggs. And because I have not had any eggs, I've heard a lot of rough things on, on eggs. So I haven't had the courage to try them yet. <laughs> But I'm going to this, this coming week. I'm going to try some eggs. So, okay. Well, I'm going to get off of here. And thank you for watching. Subscribe. And if you're interested in seeing how my journey goes, I will try to keep posting. Bye.